Hello everyone, thank you for watching South by Southwest Live. I'm your host, Natalie Holmes. We are continuing to explore different art installations that are sprinkled throughout the festival. Currently, we're at the Hilton in room 410, standing in front of Blooming, which is an interactive art installation that puts an emphasis on physical connection. So I'm standing here with the artist, Lisa Park, Hi. as well as the curator, Julia Kagansky. They're gonna tell us a little bit more about the piece and give us a behind the scenes look. So ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, tell us a little bit more about blooming? Yes, so um, my name is Lisa Park. Um, I'm an artist based in mostly New York. I've been using technology in my work uh, to um, make the um, use like sensor technology as part of my art practice to use that data uh, to create audiovisual interactive installation. So Blooming is a piece that I did uh, last year during my residency program at uh, Nokia Bell Labs and uh, New Inc. Uh, from New Museum. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so you're saying it's all about sensory. So right. what, is the, what is the purpose of this piece? Why is sensory important? I think um, basically um, understanding like human relationship and emotion has been like an ongoing investigation in my art practice. Okay. So I've been using a lot of sensor that is able to read heart rates, like brainwave data or touch. So I'm using that as like a tool to manifest like an invisible into like a visible um, output, like representation. Wow, and so with blooming, it starts off as a tree, a, ch a cherry blossom. Cherry blossom tree. And then right. because of that sensory and physical touch with other humans, what happens right. to the tree? Yeah, so um, the cherry blossom tree itself actually has a meaning of like social ties and uh, presence like of uh, importance of human relationship and then preciousness. Um, so I wanted to utilize that uh, symbol as part of my work. So when you enter the room, there is a tree that is not bloomed, so it's pre-bloomed state. And then the tree is um, making the blooming and then the petals falling based on the physical interaction between the audience members. Wow, so, so you go in with other people and right. when you are physically connected, connected. the tree starts to, to bloom. bloom. Yeah. Wow, that's so <laughs> powerful already. <laughs> so what inspired you to do that? So the inspiration came from my own experience living in uh, the states abroad from my uh, home country in South Korea and then I noticed that uh, whenever I'm doing a uh, communication with my parents or friends who are in distance, I've been using like cell phones or computers, like a screen-based devices. Technology, right. Like technology, right. So I wanted to do a piece that is uh, highlighting the connection, like a physical presence and the human relationship. So that's why I started working on this project where it kind of makes people, invites people to touch each other. Yeah, to connect, <laughs> right, past connect. your screen. Right. That's really amazing to use technology to emphasize the value right. of human physical interaction. That's right. fascinating. And Juliet, tell us more about uh, the, the curation and, and the collaboration between the two of you. Yeah, um, so this project came out of an artist residency program that New Inc., which is the New Museum's incubator for art design and tech, uh, does with Nokia Bell Labs. Uh, and in this project, we put artists actually inside Bell Labs, which is a historic uh, technology research institute. I mean, that's where wow. a lot of modern computing was really born in the 60s. Yeah, and they actually have a really long history of working with artists. Um, in in the 60s there was an amazing program there called Experiments in Art and Technology where artists like Robert Rauschenberg and John Cage and Andy Warhol were working with engineers from Bell Labs and other technology institutions to create new work, new artistic projects that were understanding what uh, the new potential of telecommunications and all of the advances that were happening in the technical field could do for creative expression. And uh, a lot of artists today who are working with technology are kind of working in this tradition uh, and you know we like to think of artists as almost as researchers who are investigating the potential of technology for uh, both you know artistic possibility but also to help us understand technology's role in our life today and so uh, we have this year-long artist residency where the artists are invited into Bell Labs to see what the researchers there are working on and to see um, you know what 
what their take is on this technology, on this kind of vision of the future that's being developed there, uh, and to kind of pose new questions and new possibilities for what that technology can mean for people. Right. That's um, amazing. Yeah. And you did that program. For yeah, the year. I was uh, one of the uh, one of the artists. Wow. Yeah, A big thing year. I keep noticing is this this uh, embracing of revolutionary technology from a different era combined with with now like that seems to be consistent to take what was cutting edge in the 60s and and elaborate on it and build on it is really exciting that mm -hmm. we're doing that but like while keeping it human the human connection so I do think that we should go inside um, what can we expect what, what do I need to do just walk on in yeah you're um, just walk in uh, and then <laughs> Yeah, be open to yeah, encountering the other. It sounds like it's going to be really powerful and emotional, and I'm a crybaby, so bear with me. Uh, let's go on in, check it out. All right. Now you said it's sensor, and and you need yeah. to feel connected. So we actually have to take our shoes off, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And why is that so important to take off your shoes? Because because um, our body itself is conductive. So what it does is. Um, standing onto the sensor that is on the bottom with your bare, bare feet, it is measuring the conductivity between you and the other participants. So it is uh, between two to four participants okay, interacting each other, and based on that, it is making activating the installation. Is there a symbolic meaning for you as well of, of the taking off your shoes and sort of I think grounding it is, yourself? Right, I think it is also very intimate, just like getting um, into space with our bare feet and also when you go you know go, go to park or cherry blossom festival season it is very like picnic kind of okay. feeling right so I we wanted to create that kind of environment I love it. as well. I'm so yeah. glad I did my toes. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay shoes off. Oh yeah. Should I take my shoes off? Please do. Please join us. Okay I'm so excited about this. I'm a big fan of cherry blossoms. <laughs> so I'm just gonna wander okay. in. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful already. And so this is the pre-bloom state, pre -bloom is what you called state. it. Uh -huh. And then it, there's four uh, sensors, sensors on the ground. Uh -huh. it, do you recommend standing on a, does it matter? No, um, any anywhere okay. where you feel comfortable, but it's one person at one place. Gotcha, yeah. okay, well, I'm gonna stand right uh -huh. here. And so we're all standing. And then what happens? What's next? It's uh, just any physical interaction. So let's say if we are holding hands, sure, like skin to skin oh, contact. Wow. Then, uh, it's blooming. Oh, it's so beautiful. And, uh, so the color changes based on the duration of the experience. Gotcha. And then the skin to skin contact is making the blooming happening. So the longer we hold hands. Uh, the tonality of the color becomes the redder. Tonality, gotcha. Oh, and then when we let go of our hands, oh. then it goes back to the immediately color. stops. Immediately stops. You have to have that physical connection. Physical connection, to experience right? It. Wow. So the another physical interaction that we encourage uh, participant is like shoulder to shoulder touch, oh, like, shoulders. like um, that is not skin contact. And will and it? Will we see a different? Different. Yeah, the petals will start oh, to fall. The <laughs> falling. Oh my goodness. So, this is so lovely. I feel, I feel emotional being here. It, it really is the, the value of, of connecting with other humans. I mean, you've, you've displayed it in such a beautiful way. So when wow. we let go. Just connect there. Wait. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. It goes back to its pre-bloom state. Wow. Yeah, and then when you hold hands, then it just blooms again. It's, I mean, it's yeah, instant. It's pretty, yeah, it's <laughs> if you are not instant. connected, you, you don't experience the, the beauty of it. And so you, you have to be skin to skin. Is there any skin way to, to touch skin with clothing? or clothing? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Because oh, we dart right. back. Shoulder so, to shoulder or hugging that is uh, making the petals falling at wow. me. So right. skin to clothing can right. also work yeah. as well as skin to skin. Right. So let me ask, are there different degrees? So we held hands. If you hug someone, do you get a different experience or? Um, you mean in terms of the intimacy or yes, the data? Right. Well, the, both in oh, terms right. of the intimacy as well as um, the, the data, yes. Right, I, I thought that um, hugging is more intimate. That's what sure. I thought. Um, so I wanted to do, um, highlight and emphasize that experience. So having the, uh, the visual of petals falling kind of heightens that uh, gotcha. experience. So the petals um, are more likely to fall when you're hugging. When you're hugging or shoulder to shoulder 
feel the so touch. Um, yeah, and then the sound is also being uh, uh, activated based on the touches as well. Right. Wow, I think it's so lovely that you created this because you missed your family. You missed the physical <laughs> connection with your family. It's so amazing. Uh, well, my goodness, we just want to thank you so much. Um, we are again, we are in the Hilton at uh, room 410. Is that correct? Yes, Please right. come check out Blooming. Thank you so much, Lisa, thank Julia, you. for spending yeah. some time with us. You're not going to want to miss this. This is, this is something powerful. Thank you guys for watching South by Southwest Live. Gonna hold hands yeah, as we wrap this up. <laughs>